dildo. <laughs> What were you doing there in the first place? <laughs> right, so how's it going? We're checking out the Naked Gun. Hopefully, you guys having a fantastic day. Now, this is one of the only movies I was surprised won on the poll so soon. Only reason is because it felt like there are other movies that were mentioned a lot more than this one. Like, Blazing Saddles. I think it was the, the third Monty Python movie. Hot Shots. Tucker and Dale versus the Dead. Mr. Bean. And I believe the movie's called Paradiso. Like, the movie from the show Bottom. Those just felt like they were brought up a lot more than this. And part of me surprised that they made it so low. And this beat them out. And other part of me is like, well, I guess it kind of makes sense because majority of those movies were mentioned repeatedly on YouTube and every YouTube subscriber doesn't translate to Patreon and most commenters aren't subscribers either. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised just because it's commented more that it didn't win but it just seems like that's the way it's been going with most of these movies, you know? Where if I see it a lot on YouTube then it usually makes it pretty high up on the poll and if I bet money on it, I would have lost when when I saw that this one won. Not surprised that it won a spot, just that it won a spot so soon. If this won in like maybe... The June poll, I won't be surprised, but since it won in March, a little, I was a little surprised. But it's all good, though. I've enjoyed every movie i watched so far, just like the rest of the movies I'm going into this blind. The only thing that you guys told me from this is just the guy who played the doctor in Airplane is the main character in this one. I'm not sure what category his comedy style goes into, but I did like it. I thought he was a funny doctor. He was, like, so serious, but also kooky. Same thing, like, the guy who played, like, the airplane security slash cop or whatever he was. I can't remember what his title was, but the old cat who had all those vices. Like, I'll pick the bad week to quit smoking. I'll pick the bad week to stop doing methamphetamine. That crazy dude, I like him as well. So it'd be cool if he's a similar character in this. It won't make or break it and ruin it for me, but it'd be cool if he was the same way because he was funny that way. Also, folks, like always, this is the last movie of the month, so there'll be a poll going up in the next couple of days for us to vote on the next four movies for the month of April. But yeah, man, that is it. Let's just go ahead and jump into this one, folks. We'll talk about it more at the end. Your hostages is not sufficient. The Americans must be made to suffer. We must humiliate them. Okay. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Goofy as shit. Hey, who are you? I'm Lieutenant Frank Drebin, police squad. And don't ever let me catch you guys in America. Are you out your mind? <laughs> oh, we got this guy outnumbered. Damn, they killed OJ this early in the movie. Shit, my favorite jacket. No, no flowers, thank you. Welcome home, Frank. Good work in Beirut. We all heard what you did. Thank you, and I just want to know one thing. Is it true what you wrote me about Victoria? I'm afraid so, Frank. She just ran off with some guy. What about the guy? You know anything about him? Not much. Just that he's an Olympic gymnast, and it's the best sex she's ever had. Damn. Everywhere I look, something reminds me of her. <laughs> Maybe it's just that cops and women oh, don't mix. What about Nordberg? I came as soon as I heard. He's alive, Frank, though he's on life support. I think we can save your husband's arm. Where would you like it sent? Oh, oh Frank, <laughs> I'm so glad you came. Well, well, that's good to see you. I came as soon as I heard. Well, thank you. Frank, your buddy. Oh, oh my God. This <laughs> 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 is trash. on that one. <laughs> oh, this is oh, the worst. Oh, Nordberg. Oh, he 
He was such a good man, Frank. Your husband is going to be all right. Don't you worry Ooh. about anything. Just think positive. Never let a doubt enter your mind. But I wouldn't wait until the last minute to fill out those organ donor cards. <laughs> What I'm trying to say oh, this is this terrible. As soon as Nordberg is better, <laughs> he's welcome back at police squad. Man. Like disperse! Please disperse! There's nothing for you to see here. Keep moving. <laughs> Where'd they find Nordberg at? Right out uh, there, Frank. Dude. Something like this. <laughs> he was found by the night watchman. We better do some checking around. I'm gonna talk to the harbor master. I'll walk around the docks, take a snoop. I don't know, it's still kind of hazy. How about this? Yeah, I remember him. I used to see him around. Why do you want to know? I can't tell you that. Well, maybe this will help. <laughs> you don't think I should. Yeah, you still don't think so. Oh, what? All right, yeah. his name is Norris. This man, a civic leader, the mayor had chosen him to be the chairman of the Queen's Reception Committee. And now I was getting ready to question him about drugs and attempted murder on his own docks. This dude. <laughs> Need to lose that license. Have here, Mr. Ludwig. Thank you, thank you, Lieutenant. Most of the objects in this room I have collected over a period of many years. A Gainsborough, a Ming vases, priceless. They are objects which I feel reflect my personality. Oh. It's valued at over $20,000. A luxury item, to be certain, but as you can see, I am a man who appreciates the finer things in life. All oh, this. This is a rare samurai pen. Fine art, Lieutenant. To what do I owe the honor? I'm investigating the attempted murder of one of your dock workers. I knew that motherfucker was gonna do that. A man named <laughs> Nordberg, uh, a police Shit. officer. Look out there. A vast commercial development built by me. Do you have any idea what was out there just five years ago? Yeah! You bet you do. Orange Grove. Acres of them. That's fine. Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Norberg been able to oh, uh, tell you anything? Uh, well, of course, uh, he hasn't been able to tell us a thing uh, so far. But as soon as he regains uh, consciousness... Dominique, will you please send in Miss Spencer? Yes, sir. As you know, I am quite busy making last-minute arrangements for the royal visits. But... Uh, I'll have my assistant provide you with anything you need. You've been very cooperative. I'll make a note of that in my report. Hello. <laughs> she had a full set of curves and the kind of legs you'd like to suck on for a day. <laughs> He was giving me a look I could oh, feel God. in my hip pocket. <laughs> yep. Well, being yes. Arbor Day and all. Of course. Well, perhaps some other time. Uh, how about a rain check? Well, let's just stick to dinner. Yeah, thank you for your help, Miss Spencer. Intriguing fellow, this Lieutenant Dreven, don't you think? Well, I, I don't know. I've only just met him. He seems very nice. Jane, I realize this is an unusual request. But if there is something illegal going on in this... I think this is best handled by the police. But we are letting the police handle it, my dear. But this company needs to know the facts quickly before anything gets into the newspapers. Don't forget, I have a responsibility to the stockholders. It was about 4 p.m. when I returned to police squad. <laughs> I figured to stop by and see what the lab boys had come up with on Nordberg's jacket. The one they'd found on the dock. Anybody catch the license plate? Anybody get a look at the driver? Wait, I can't see anything. Use your open eye, Frank. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can see it now. First glance, it would appear to be oh, only the normal shit. cotton fibers. Tell me, Mr. Papsmeyer, in all the world, who is the most effective assassin? Well, I would. One who doesn't know is an assassin. Will that be with cream and sugar, sir? Uh, Mr. Papsmeyer? Guy's a maniac. 
But how will you get her near the target? Oh, I doubt whether it will be her. Good secretaries are so hard to find these days. The hospital with Ludwig's shipping records to see if I could jog Nordberg's memory. Oh, Dr. Alfred, I have Mrs. Kepley's chart if you're ready to go over it. I'll be with you when I finish with Mr. Norberg. Yes, Doctor. I'll need you to sign in. Wait a minute. Where's the police officer who's on guard at that door? Oh, uh, Lieutenant Drebin called and sent him home. Lieutenant Drebin? I must kill Nordberg. I must kill Nordberg. Car. Let's definitely check your mirror. <laughs> Signal. <laughs> now pull into traffic. <laughs> Try and ease off on the brake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> you poor girl. <laughs> Turn right. Follow oh, him to the right. It's okay. Stephanie, <laughs> gently extend your arm. Extend your middle finger. Gotta fuck up if he dies. It's not gonna be his fault. Right, in the case of Club Soda. Who is this character in the hospital? Why was he trying to kill Nordberg? <laughs> and for whom? Did Ludwig lie to me? I didn't have any proof, but somehow I didn't entirely trust him either. It was almost midnight when I got to my door. I just wanted a glass of Bosco and then slip under my blankets. But my night was just about to begin. <laughs> but I was unnecessary shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, Ed, the answer is up there in Ludwig's office. Call it what you will, a hunch, woman's intuition. Guy Ludwig knows a lot more than he's telling us. A hunch won't stand up in court, Frank. I know. If you take a chance getting up in the morning, crossing the street, or sticking your face in a fan. Look, there he is. All right, just trust me on this, Ed. Deposited a money bank Zurich upon proof of Queen's death. He 
the craziest shit. Sexual assault with a concrete dildo. <laughs> What were you doing there in the first place? <laughs> yes, yes, I know. I'm sorry about that, Your Honor, but we have reason to believe that Vincent oh, Ludwig no. is involved in a plot to assassinate the Queen. If we're all very nice to him, he will agree not to press charges. Your Honor. Did I make myself clear? Yes, Your Honor, very clear. Good day. Oh, my God. <laughs> Get meat packing plant. The discreet is gonna murder you. Here, you can take this back. Who's is that? <laughs> top of the queen with her legs wrapped around you and they call that news they can't kick you off the force franken my god he was innocent he oh, was this chair two years ago <laughs> well no, this is trash yes mr palacio si. i am the head usher ah i'm here to sell excuse me <laughs> visit has brought a sellout crowd could be a record and while the fans are awaiting the first pitch they're being entertained by the stadium's angel vision showing some of those unusual moments in baseball over the Searched almost everybody. Yeah, I saw that. There's only one more out before the seventh inning stretch, Frank. I'm gonna have my men on the alert, but you're gonna have to stall them. Don't. have got for Shoney in a rundown. Hey, say, how about that? He never tagged him with the ball. You idiot, he was out when he ran the base side of the base. All right, I've had enough. You're out of here. What do you mean? <laughs> you can't throw an umpire out of the game. Yeah. All right, you're out of here. What game are you looking at? What game are you looking at? Oh, you're the boss. I was saying, 
Now we're going to take you for a walk. With the boss. He carries the contractor. Now let's go quietly. And I guess the whole world owes you a debt of gratitude. Thank you, Mayor. And Monday morning, we want you back at Police Squad. With a promotion to captain, of course. Oh, Let's do that. Come, Frank. Everyone should have a friend like you. <laughs> <laughs> He's a terrible friend. All right, doesn't like anything that happens at the end. This was a really goofy movie. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was fantastic. That dude is a terrible cop. <laughs> Oh my god, just as driving alone. The dude's killed people, he freaking crashed his car to everything. The dude's an awful cop. In the beginning, like I said, I didn't recognize who all those people were. I could just recognize like three people out of the entire group of, I guess, dictators or bad guys were at the table. So I like, shame on me for not recognizing all of them. I love how he didn't even try to look like, oh boy, he just put on his suit and went out there and started sinking. And I'm guessing that's a joke that Americans don't even know what the guy looks like, so it was easy for him to just go out there and just have on a suit. People just accept that that's who he was, even though he was terrible at singing and everything. That was good. That was silly as shit. And I say one of my favorite scenes in this movie was the student driver scene. That was fantastic. I love how mellow the guy was next to her, explaining everything <laughs> while she's like freaking out. And then she just leans into it and starts driving like a maniac. Gave old boy the finger. That was good. I like the student driver scene a lot. That was really good. Him being on the balcony, that was great. As soon as I saw the new statue, it was like, There's, this dude is going to start grabbing on the junk or something. Something's going to happen with the, the statue penises. I know it is. And they did not disappoint with the statue boobs and with the statue penis. Like, he ended up grabbing real boobs. And then also him, the penis breaking off. <laughs> and on the report said he assaulted somebody with a concrete dildo. That was fantastic. He did like a maniac walking towards her with like a statue dick. Oh, that was great. There are a lot of really good funny scenes in this movie. Even, even from the beginning, man, with uh, O.J. Simpson, him getting shot and then taking forever from the die. This dude has, like, w a bunch of bullets in him and he's worried about his jacket. Just silly shit like that. This movie's great. Another great scene was when he crashed into the trash cans in the front of the police station. That was a great scene as well. That was fantastic. Anybody get the license plates and <laughs> get an eye on the driver? There's not a lot to say about this movie. It's just that it was really silly and good. There's too many great scenes just to sit here and list them all off. The level of silliness was up there with like the airplane movie. And I enjoyed that movie a lot. So this one was great, man. Just how wacky it was was fantastic. I enjoyed the story as well, man. It was pretty fast paced. I feel like they just had to cram a whole lot into like each segment just to move on to the next point, which I like. They didn't really try to stretch anything out. Even the romantic part, it just... <laughs> They crammed all that shit. It was just one day. I remember reading an article that made me think about it now because some of the best movies you guys have recommended have like met that criteria or whatever. But they talked about like some of the best comedy movies are like 90 minutes or less. And I was thinking about all the movies you guys have recommended. And yeah, some of the best ones were 90 minutes. 90 minutes or less. But this was like 85 minutes. I think Hot Fuzz was over two hours. Like two hours, 10 minutes. So, but it was still a really good movie. So I guess it kind of stands up. I think World's End was over two hours too. There are a few that you guys recommended have been over two hours. But the majority of the movies have been like 90 minutes or less. I guess there's no like, you know, science or anything to it. Because I haven't watched enough comedy movies to like actually make that determination if the 90 minute ones are better than the longer ones. 90 minutes seems like a good window to work with. Because Only Fools and Horses, the longer specials, are like 78 minutes. And like an hour and 18 minutes, I think is the average one. One was like an hour and 20 20 minutes and they keep it under that 90 minute thing where it doesn't feel like it's too long and there's not a lot of downtime like this was like non-stop hilarity 
Same thing with like Airplane. It was like, it's just my nonstop. There's barely any gap without some type of comedy. I see something like Snatcher, Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels being longer than that because they have to like put a whole story together. And it's a crime comedy. It's a bit different. But like those standard like goofy, wacky comedies. I think 90 Minutes is a really good time to stick with. I really do. It, tends, it seems to work. All right, folks, that is it. That is all for this one. Hopefully you guys are happy, safe, and healthy. I'll see you in the next one. Later.